My grandmother used to tell me you can't be loud and wrong. Well. So I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. What the fuck that mean? Make magic or something? What is musician? I think you're confusing that. Yeah, I'm not no musician. I, I make music. Suki Hana, who apparently is not a magician, but is a ratchet rapper, and according to her, a mogul, sat down with Bobby, the Culture Vulture Industry Plant, for an interview. Hi right, guys, welcome to the really good podcast. Today we have... Suki with a good coochie. What she said, that is who we have here today. And of course, this clip went viral. Yeah, I'm not no musician. I, I make music. I act. I'm a TV star too, a young mogul. Uh -huh. I, just really quick, I think you're confusing. I'm not confusing nothing. I, you thought that all I was was a magician or whatever the fuck you said. See, that's what I think you think I said. No, I, baby, but, I don't think. What I, is that? That's ghetto. I don't think. I know. Wow. There's some speculation about whether this interaction was real or scripted, as Bobby and Suki have apparently been friends for a while, as Bobby mentions later in the interview. Also, there's the fact that Suki has shamelessly taken full advantage of the virality of this clip by reposting this clip and several other clips from this interview on her Instagram. And she actually created merch to celebrate her not knowing the difference between magician and musician, even though she makes music. <laughs> But I'm Ju, welcome to the channel. Please like and sub. Now speculation aside, I'm taking this Bobby and Suki clip and interview at face value and sharing my honest opinion about how I think the image that Suki is projecting is damaging to not only black women, but especially the younger generation of black women that are coming up under this influence. So let's get into it. The clip of Suki arguing with Bobby about whether she's a musician or a magician went viral and was blasted all over the internet with the intention to create buzz for the full interview and to make Suki look as dumb and as ratchet as possible. And you would think that if your worst moment was broadcast all over the internet for people to laugh at, that you would feel a way about it. But not Suki, with her mixing up the words and the meanings between musician and magician. Suki has been proudly posting clips and plugging the interview, and as I mentioned earlier, she also created merch for her viral moment. It's clear that Suki has no problem looking unintelligent for the world to see, as long as it brings her virality, attention, and money. Throughout the interview, Suki continues to misstate or misunderstand things. Like when she tells Bobby she has tons of fans, doctors, pastors, humanitarians, instead of humanitarians, which Bobby then corrects her on. I love that about me, that everybody's my fan. And it doesn't matter what they look like or what their occupation is. I have doctors, preachers, activists, humanitarians. Humanitarians? Yes, those people. Suki then continues to talk about how popular she is and tells Bobby she can call the NFL or NBA as if it's one person with the phone number instead of several huge multi-billion dollar corporations with thousands of employees. Like, who are you calling? What are you talking about? They all know Suki. Like, go to the NFL. Okay. And ask Say, them, do you know who Suki Hana is? Like, just the NFL? Not just the NFL, like, the NBA. Do you think Mark Cuban would know? Mark who? The, Mark an, Cubans? Yeah. If I Who's Mark Cubans? He's a billionaire. He owns the Dallas Ma Mavericks. He owns the NBA? Sitting through this interview, I'm legit wondering, who is following Suki and why? Like, what are y'all getting out of following Suki? Is it entertainment? Maybe motivation? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But to me, everything is less cute and less funny when you realize Suki ain't that young. She's 32 years old and a mother of three acting like this. I think the hypersexualized, super ratchet, and apparently dumb image that she's projecting, which comes across in this interview, is bad for black women in general, especially young women and girls that are more vulnerable and more impressionable, especially girls that don't have a better role model to follow or don't have somebody in their household playing defense against all this trash content that they're exposed to on a daily basis. Imagine young impressionable girls needing or looking for attention and they're exposed to Suki's content and they see her fame, success, and money from the lifestyle she's living and the image that she's projecting. They're going to think that they need to do the same, that they need to show their bodies, that they need to be loud and ratchet that they need to be hypersexualized to get attention. And that's how you get interactions like this. I am real seductive. You are? I bag and swallow. Oh, hell no. You two out there. Go, go. Wait, I'm, twi I'm hey. 29. No, you out. You don't like when a girl 
Fuck you good, suck you good, cook for you, clean for you, massage you, love you, beat her for you. What you telling me shit a woman's supposed to do, not something you're supposed to get credited for doing. I'm just being real, like I do that it That ain't being real to me. Being real to me is find out who a nigga is before you open up like that to you. Shout out to Waka. I feel like any man with morals that has self-respect and knows his value is going to react the same to this type of woman, approach, and situation. Maybe when you're young, this seems attractive or fun, but I feel like as you get older, shit like this is an instant turn off. But going back to the Bobby interview, there are moments that you can see Suki knows exactly what she's doing. Not just in the interview, but in her overall sexual and promiscuous presentation. She explained that she intentionally writes and raps some of the nastiest, most sexual lyrics she can think of to not only get a reaction out of people, but to get attention, and attention to her equals money. And she talked about going viral often from the content that she makes, as she's a leader of the generation, which I don't know which generation she's talking about, because again, Suki is 32 years old. But honestly, based on this interview going viral, her strategy is working. Suki has 2.5 million followers on Instagram. Her posts get hundreds of thousands of views and likes with thousands of supportive comments glorifying her videos, songs, and behavior. It's going to be crazy seeing what this younger generation of females coming up under the Sukis and Sexy Reds is going to be like, especially if they're correlating the fame, success, and money that these two have acquired with being more sexualized and more ratchet and loud and seemingly unintelligent. And as a person raising daughters, I do feel like these influences are super harmful to young women. Honestly, the younger generation might already be cooked, but I'm hoping for the best. But thanks for watching the video. Do you think the Sukis and Sexy Reds image and behavior is harmful to young women in the black community or is it just harmless fun? Let me know in the comments. Also, if there's anything else you want to see a video on, please leave it in the comments or you can send me an email. The link will be in the description. Other than that, please check out the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.